What if the next big move in tech investing isn't coming from the AI names we've all been talking about, like NVIDIA or AMD, but instead from a lesser-known frontier that's regaining momentum right now? That frontier is quantum computing. After an early-year rally, the sector went quiet for a few months. But recently, there's been a subtle yet powerful shift in tone, and the signs are pointing to a potential second wave of upside. It's no coincidence. This summer has been far more bullish than anyone expected. We're seeing record highs across the S&P 500 and Nasdaq, despite lingering inflation. And more importantly for small-cap investors, the Federal Reserve is now widely expected to begin cutting rates between July and September. That change in monetary policy has opened the door to more speculative growth names, especially those dependent on external capital to grow. Quantum computing fits that mould perfectly. These companies aren't generating profits yet. They're in the R&D phase, building out infrastructure, IP and partnerships. Most of them have valuations in the 2 to $6 billion range, so when capital gets cheaper, these names gain leverage. The same dollar goes further. And that could be the spark behind what's happening now. New analyst coverage, aggressive price targets, and fresh volume surges that are pulling this sector back into the spotlight. One company leading this renewed interest is IonQ, ticker I-O-N-Q. If you were following AI-adjacent stocks earlier in 2025, you probably saw IonQ among the top gainers. But like the broader quantum group, it cooled off in the second quarter. Now, however, sentiment is shifting. In early June, both Benchmark and Needham issued price targets of $50 for the stock, up significantly from its recent trading levels in the 30s. That news came alongside IonQ's acquisition of Oxford Ionics, a UK-based company focused on trapped ion hardware. That move not only expands IonQ's tech stack, but also strengthens its intellectual property portfolio, key for long-term differentiation. While IonQ still trades at a steep valuation and isn't profitable, it has a solid foundation, including nearly $700 million in cash. That liquidity gives it breathing room that many other early-stage companies simply don't have. And because of its size and visibility, IonQ tends to act as the bellwether for this segment. When it moves, the rest of the space often follows. Another name attracting serious attention is D-Wave Quantum Inc. Ticker QBTS. D-Wave is unique in that it focuses on annealing-based quantum systems rather than the gate-based architecture used by IonQ and Regetti. That distinction matters because D-Wave already has commercial customers using its technology in logistics, finance and manufacturing. It's further along in market application and that's starting to be reflected in the price action. In the first quarter of this year, D-Wave's revenue surged over 500% year over year, reaching more than $15 million. In early June, the company launched its Next Generation Advantage 2 system, which drove a 26% spike in the stock in a matter of days. Analysts at Cantor Fitzgerald and others have issued price targets ranging from $20 to as high as $40, depending on future adoption and financial performance. That puts current upside potential in the 75 to 100% range from today's levels. It's important to note that D-Wave is still not profitable either, and its price-to-sales ratio remains extremely elevated, over 200. But it's building real-world use cases, and that matters in a sector full of theoretical potential. Then we have Regetti Computing, ticker RGTI. Compared to IonQ and D-Wave, Regetti has flown under the radar this year. It focuses on gate-based systems like IonQ, but hasn't had the same kind of momentum, at least not yet. In fact, after peaking in early 2025, Regetti lagged behind its peers through much of Q2. But lately, there are signs that it could be positioned for a rebound. Some analysts have floated a price target around $20 for Regetti, and while that figure isn't as widely cited as IonQ's, it reflects a growing interest in the company as a potential catch-up trade. Rigetti's market cap is smaller, and institutional interest has been muted compared to its peers. But that also means any shift in sentiment, an earnings beat, 
a new partnership, a strategic announcement, could have an outsized effect. For investors looking for high beta names in the quantum space, Rigetti may represent one of the more asymmetric risk-art-reward setups on the board. And finally, there's Quantum Computing Inc. Ticker QUBT. This one's been the clear underperformer, currently trading more than 50% below its 52-week highs. But in sectors with tight correlation dynamics, where stocks move together on macro sentiment, laggards can often become leaders in the next phase. Q UBT is small, lightly covered, and carries significant execution risk. But for that very reason, it also offers massive torque if sentiment swings in its favor. A rotation back into quantum names, triggered by macro shifts or sector-specific catalysts, could make QUBT one of the fastest movers in percentage terms. So stepping back, why is this all happening now? First, the macro picture. Lower interest rates are a huge tailwind for capital-intensive innovation plays. Second, the sector-level correlation. Quantum stocks have historically moved in unison, and when the leaders start moving, others tend to follow. Third, institutional signals, volume upticks, options activity, short interest reversals, are beginning to show up across the group. None of this guarantees success, but it strongly suggests that sentiment is turning. As for strategy, this is not the kind of sector where you bet the farm on a single name. These companies are volatile, pre-profit, and dependent on execution over time. Diversification isn't just smart, it's essential. Warren Buffett put it bluntly, diversification is protection against ignorance. Unless you're a quantum physicist or insider, spreading your exposure is the best approach. A smart way to play it? Overweight the more developed names, IonQ and D-Wave, but allocate some capital to potential catch-up plays like Rigetti and QBT. For those comfortable with options, long-dated calls on the laggards could deliver asymmetric upside while limiting your downside risk. Think of it like a venture portfolio. If just one of these names takes off, the returns could be life-changing, even if the others don't pan out. Finally, what could push this sector even higher in the coming months? Watch for three things. Fed policy, especially a confirmed rate cut, trade or tariff shifts that benefit US tech, and company-specific catalysts like new contracts, government funding, or strategic acquisitions. Any one of those could reignite institutional flows into this sector. Quantum computing is still early. There's real risk, but there's also real potential. And for those who get in ahead of the curve, this might just be one of the most promising corners of the AI-driven investment world. Let us know where you stand, already holding IonQ or D-Wave. Watching Rigetti from the sidelines? Considering an entry on QUBT? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you haven't seen our earlier coverage on this space, now's a great time to revisit those videos and see how the landscape has evolved.